All right, we're literally right back after that Tom McDonald uh, reaction. This is uh, John Farnham. I think it's We're No Angels. I'm No Angel. Forgive me on that. Um, I took this off the CD. I think I'm going to say what it is. But I have to live with the fact of what he's, uh, I'm he. Wow, it's very surreal sometimes. Um, well, let's, let's see what I have to say. Good morning. And oh yeah, this is a rough, this is how Roland goes to town. Um, if, if, uh, I am not concerned about my uh, physical appearance, but we just busted open age of reason because I have someone out there that I, I hope to get, hope she gets healthy and better whole family and uh i wanted to think about her this morning they didn't have numbers on the track so what? i was counting down because i am uh counting down uh which track i needed to find very unorganized what because i am I'm pretty grateful every day to have subscribers and friends and loved ones all over the globe now. But I mean, uh, we're no angels. Uh, we're no angels. Uh, John Farnham off uh, Age of Reason album. Welcome back. It's Rolling Green and this is Reactions, Rants, and Rabbit Holes. This is uh, John Farnham in the car. Uh, really, it just goes out to um, a loved one and get better over here. So uh, I appreciate that, that uh, um, you still take the time to, to hang out. And it means the world to me. And uh, I thought we'd go with uh, this track. Oh, I didn't see it. So the volume's still a little high. I found that out with the Tom McDonald, too. It's not uh, as uh, crisp as I'd like it. I think we have decent sound over here now. Uh, but it is what it is. It really was in the car and sounds a lot better in the car than on the recording. To reach this goal And in the voice keeps pushing Say must yeah. do our best Florida. while all the time we know that we'll be settling for less. Oh, what a great line. Uh, so I was trying to just listen to it now and not talk, which is hard because I figured I'd come back and we'll do it this way. Um, especially if I can, if I can hear it this way, then I figure the recording is decent. And uh, always trying to do our best and settling, but having to settle for less. Now, if that isn't, uh, you know, decent by a little little bar breakdown of that, I, I'd say that that would resonate with a lot of people, I would think. I would hope. You don't. You don't try your best. You don't try to live to your fullest because of the reward. You, you, you just do that because it's, the, the, you know, the right thing to do. Accepting what, you know, what you get. Uh, each of their own. I'm not, I can't, uh, just, I just really like how that comes off, uh, that idea, I guess. Um, let's see. Saying we must do our best While all the time we know That we'll be settling for less Yeah, 
I, the, the realization is important. Now, I admit, uh, I, I, I tend to try to let that realization go a little bit, I hope, or I'm working on it. Instead of, oh, yeah, no, it's in the spouse, uh, knock on wood video. Um, yeah. Instead of, uh, instead of focusing on the having to settle for less, I'm going to focus on the trying my best. And then if I started considering the rewards appropriate, not inadequate... But we're no angels. I liked it. We're no angels. Well, things are moving faster. Isn't that the truth? I mean, as uh, the visible tailspin of the global order takes place in front of our eyes, I mean, I wonder if it's how fast we push that brings us to the ultimate breaking point. Ah, that's a good question. Well, things are moving faster than we'll ever comprehend. Summit is a comfort Have faith That life don't end Always hoping for A second chance To fulfill our desires We go looking for A savior When we fall Into the fire Dude, I like that. Yes, he has... Even in the car, I can't help myself. I can't. Oh, oh it's tough. Um, <laughs> I like that. We go looking for a savior when we fall into the fire. Yeah, that's that whole. And now I will admit that the lyrical content all works with the um, the um, the title. Uh, for sure. But I like the line. It's, it's, uh, I like how the connection to we look for salvation while we're condemned to the, the, the flame line as much as I like the if you're waiting for it to get to your back door, it's too late position I, I like to harp on. Um, so yeah, I then take and put that together with maybe trying to do your best, not accepting the least, even though you might get the least. It's all weird. It's cool. I like this one because it makes me think of all kinds. I like when John Barnum does that. I like when any of the music makes me think of uh, something a little deeper than this is a pretty song. Um, it's a wonderful song, but being moved by it is so much more important to me. But we know Oh 
yeah, no, I caught that. The devils, the demons are just fallen angels. Now, instead of taking a, a biblical context out of that, I look at it this way. I look at it as a, a moral lesson that even the best of us are capable of failure, capable of falling, capable of the most horrendous stuff. And we can go from exalted on high to the depths of the pit. And the more I uh, take and do my little side lessons right now, so I'm going down some self-help stuff, the more I'm seeing uh, long-standing ideas of maybe a biblical nature Let's be honest, this song is um, steeped with biblical references or angelic, demonic, um, right? And I'm not, I'm not saying angels are the only, uh, only a curse. I think angels, depictions of angelic beings go from every corner, I think. So I'm not saying that. I'm saying I think that the, Figuring out what it means to me as a human <clears throat> is more important than the imagery of actual demonic, angelic entities battling. That the I mean no disrespect by this, but the mythological standing of the stories might not carry as much importance as the actual psychological, sociological, uh, humanistic connections through all of history. The best of us can become the worst of us. I think my lessons are taking hold. Now, I'm not saying that's for anyone but me, but this is the takeaway from my side stuff and what I've got going on in my real life plus this song. So I, I really like it. I like to have these thoughts. This is the kind of stuff that I get done with the reaction. I turn it off and then I, I got to go decompress with Ange and have a conversation and see, well, honey, was, am I nuts? Am I, am I crazy? Or is there maybe a chance that that story resonates with us on a human level, not just a, a biblical level? And... This going to be fun. I just kind of want uh, that it's not just about Sharon John's music. It really isn't. As much as I really enjoy, well, I have the utmost respect for uh, John's uh, music, his abilities, his fan base, the whole thing. Now this, this is as good as it gets for me. This is the reason I could keep listening to them for sure. All the high notes in the world don't change these feelings. And that's, it didn't take the high note to get the feeling. It took the lyrical content. It took a message. I think that's why I focus on the messaging so much. And why I like the foreign language music, because then I can ignore the messaging. It becomes such a pure reaction to just the joy of music, right? It's weird, but I guess for as scrubby as I look there, I might as well take the highbrow approach to the actual reaction and get something out of it. Cause you know, that was just a few hours ago. I did. I, I literally realized that <clears throat> it was time to uh, stop boycotting uh, the razor. Seek what's real Always knowing that We will never be Angels We're no angels I never 
Lucid. So that right there, I can tell you what that means. See, by this point, I had really, I realized it wasn't going to be, I thought it was going to be a little more upbeat. I was, I was hoping it was like a kind of a rockin' We're No Angels song. But no, it wasn't. It was soft and thought-provoking. And uh, by this point here, I realized I had to do this. And, uh, oh yeah, no, I can see it. It's, uh, I'm just locking some ideas away in my head because I'm actually, would love to just start spilling my guts at this point. There was an angel. See, I realize that uh, it's complicated for me now. It's not just a pretty song. Yep. It's funny. It's weird. I think that's why I enjoy doing this so much. Because I guess, uh, no, yeah. I'm, uh... Hey, that's why I don't play poker. <laughs> something to say. I wonder what that is. That's a good song. I'm not going to let him talk. I might put it in a bonus, but uh, that's not part of this one. <laughs> uh, uh, especially if it's a redundant... Uh, two minutes of me saying what I just got done saying. I will uh, put this to an end. I'll, I'll do it. I'll, it'll be a bonus down below. Um, unfortunately, it, it's uh, about the the main way I get a take, I can get a takeaway out of the whole experience. Uh, I mean, honestly, we kind of, we're, we're at the end of this one. If you'd like to subscribe and like and uh, there's some links for support down there at the bottom if you're interested. Um, uh, I try not to make a big deal of it, but the bonus, well, yeah, if it's interesting, I don't have to uh, keep asking for anything. Hey, have a wonderful day. And uh, to my... Uh, brand new sibling on the other side of the world, please, please, you know. Well, I think you can get I hear everything's going well. So, I'm super grateful for that. And it gives you time to, to listen to more uh, John. So this one might not have been the most fun because it's all a little heavy. But he certainly moved me this time. And I like that.